Hey guys, Razorblade Mango here, and today I wanted to just provide some loose thoughts on what was shown today of the next game from WB Interactive and WB Games Montreal, Gotham Knights, which is a new take on the Batman universe. This is a separate thing from the Arkham series, which the Arkham series is actually going to at least the lore continue in the upcoming Suicide Squad game coming out next year. And the reason they're doing this separately, I assume, is because this game is going to be a very different genre compared to what we've gotten over the last few years with Batman games. This is going to be styled more after the Marvel's Avengers type looter brawler kind of thing, which. <laughs> so, this is one of those games that, from the moment it was shown off, I knew what I was in for. Um, and I obviously have my beef with WB Games. I have my beef with Life Services. But the reason I'm talking about this game today is one, just to talk about the gameplay a little bit and talk about what I've seen, and two, to kind of just muse on what I find fascinating about Gotham Knights as a product, given its timing and the corporate stuff that's going on behind the scenes at WB. Plus, this is also just a nice excuse to test out the new microphone that Mario got me. So thank you, Mario, again, for the excellent new mic. So let's start with the game itself. The game itself looks meh. It looks very mediocre and pretty much almost nothing has changed since when we when we first saw it. Like how when was it? Like two years ago we first saw this? I think it's been that long. I think this was shown off 2020 I believe. And when I saw it back then, my first reaction was, oh, it just looks like WB is trying to make their own copycat of Destiny with the whole, you know, stat upgrades and enemies that shower loot and rarity tiers and microtransactions and all that bullshit. And that's basically the same thing that I I'm at now with, Mar I almost said Marvel's Avengers, but I mean with Gotham Knights, but it just, it, I'm sorry, it just, it looks so much like Marvel's Avengers, except a little bit better, at least, maybe not a little bit, but I'd say like a moderate amount better. It doesn't look as pewter to my eyeballs like Marvel's Avengers did when they first saw it, and thankfully, you know, they've confirmed that it's a live service, but at least they're not, to their credit, they're not going out on stage and proudly proclaiming with zero self-awareness that this thing is going to be a live service. Uh, so I'll give I'll give WB that that atom of credit. And it simply just doesn't look very good for a game that's been in development this long. That's allegedly, or I guess not allegedly, it's been confirmed that they've dropped the last gen versions of it. For a game that's going to be like a current gen thing, it doesn't look very impressive. The animations look very janky. The graphics just looks eh, the art style eh, it just doesn't look very visually appealing and to be fair, the, the older I've gotten the less impressed and reliant I've become on graphics getting me through a gameplay experience. It's all about the gameplay, it's all about the replayability, it's all about how it feels, how much fun I'm having. But even there, Gotham Knights just doesn't look very fun to play. It looks janky as hell, it looks like the typical fucking pounding on bullet sponge enemy kind of thing that I got sick of a long time ago, especially in a in a, a game that's like a brawler setting. It looks like they're crowbarring in a bunch of shit in order to make this fit the looter brawler genre, something that just, it just looks out of place in the Batman universe. Like Jason Todd just shooting people over and over and over and over and over again with non-lethal bullets and then taking them out by fucking 
stomping on their head to the point where it looks like they're, if they're if they're not dead, they're gonna be in a fucking wheelchair for the rest of their lives. It reminds me how ridiculous Arkham Knight looked when you could non-lethally take out enemies with the Batmobile by <laughs> fucking plowing into them a hundred at a hundred miles per hour. It just it looks fucking ridiculous, and it looks so out of place for this world. I don't know. It just there's just things about it because I'm a lifelong Batman fan. It just bothers me seeing stuff like that. Again, it just looks like it's it, it looks to be the case of uh, trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It just doesn't fit. But WB and all their greedy trend chasing wisdom, I guess, have been like, hey, Batman seems to be the good franchise to use to get into the looter brawler genre. Fuck it. Let's do it. And the weird thing, too, about this is that it, if this had released maybe a few years ago, or b at least before Marvel's Avengers, I would have said something along the lines of, like, oh, well, this will obviously be a massive success because it's got, you know, the, the, the Batman stuff attached to it. Just based on brand recognition, I assume this is going to be a big hit. But after Marvel's Avengers and how that ended up, I'm not so sure, because at the time when I talked about Marvel's Avengers, and I went on like my big rant about it after playing the, the beta, the, the atrocious fucking beta, I said that the saddest part about all this is that it will be a massive success, and it will make a lot of money simply because it's Marvel's Avengers. A lot of people aren't going to give a shit about the quality of the game, they're just going to see Marvel's Avengers and go, I want to play as Thor, and they're just going to buy it. But. It bombed. Like, we know now what a legendary misfire, an infamous misfire, Marvel's Avengers was. And now I'm not so sure about the guaranteed success of Gotham Knights, especially considering the fact that I don't think WB themselves really have a lot of confidence in that. Because this was obviously a game that was affected by the corporate restructuring going on with the whole, like, WB... Discovery, AT&T kind of thing going on in the corporate world. And then there's the fact that they just like randomly dropped the release date for this just in a, on a, in a tweet. No build up, no nothing. It was just like, hey guys, it's coming out October 2022. Yeah, goodbye. And that was it. <laughs> that was all we got. I was like, what the hell? What? What? Why would you do that? So there's that. There's also the fact that WB Montreal have been working on this for so long long and then you look at this and it's like oof this looks rough for all these years this is what they have to show for it like ugh, just doesn't look very good doesn't breed a lot of confidence in the game and that leads me into I've become more and more fascinated with the the opportunity cost trend chasing aspect of the video game industry and the thing that kicked that off was thinking about Horizon Forbidden West and the timing of that coming out, where Horizon Forbidden West is a game that I do like, but it suffers from that it feels like a couple years too late in trying to really capture the interest around that specific type of open world game. And no doubt Horizon Forbidden West will, will be a success, even though I think, I have a feeling it really undersold what Sony wanted for it, but People will buy it, people will enjoy it, I like it, I enjoyed it, I recommended it, even though I have problems with it. But I have a feeling, like, similar to Gotham Knights, it's all about timing, it's all about capturing, like, the the moment when the this type of game is at its most popular, where the interest is at an all-time high. And because WB Games have been working on this for so long, it's almost like they've missed that window of opportunity where this would have been looked at a little bit more favorably. I think if this had come out before Marvel's Avengers, before Anthem, it would have been looked at like, oh, this is an interesting little thing. But now that we've had a few years of these kind of games coming out and trying to copycat Destiny and just bombing, like Anthem, again, legendary misfire, uh, Marvel's Avengers, it sucked shit, lost Square Enix a lot of money, um, it takes a special level of incompetence to fuck up a Marvel's Avengers games, but, but that Square Enix for you. And I just don't really see it working out for Gotham Knights either. Just again, because I don't think WB has a lot of confidence in this. And I just, I don't know, I, I, especially with this coming out around the holiday season, 
in the shadow of fucking like modern warfare 2 which is going to be a titan and especially also maybe coming out like a month or so after or before the new god of war even though i don't believe that's going to come out still come out this year or whatever anyone else has planning i i have a feeling this game is just going to maybe not bomb hard like marvel's avengers did but i have a feeling it's going to be the sales are going to be soft compared to what it could have been and that's a shame because i don't dislike wb games montreal in fact arkham origins i didn't like love it but i don't think it's terrible even with the the ridiculous amount of bugs and glitches that it had when it first came out i don't think it was a terrible game i think it, i actually like arkham origins more than arkham knight if, if you can believe it but it's i just I don't know, I, I just I just don't see this working out, and that's a damn shame because, again, I'm a lifelong Batman fan, I want Batman games to be good, but all I'm seeing with this is just corporate sludge. It just looks like the, the typical trend-chasing, focus group-tested, live service shit that, that every company wants, and they could have been working on something else. For all this time they could have they could have just said this isn't working and then moved on to something else and maybe they could have worked on something a little more unique and now that they've announced it around this time it could have captured a little bit more attention than this has and the only reason this is really capturing any attention is because it's related to batman but that's not a guarantee anymore especially in a post marvel's avengers world because again i would have said the same thing about marvel's avengers and i did say the same thing but that bombed hard and if a game centered around Marvel's Avengers bombed <laughs> I don't I really don't think Gotham Knights has that much of a chance so anyway that's all I wanted to talk about today thank you so much for watching if you like to see subscribe let me know what you guys think of Gotham Knights and all the crap going on with WB and as always I'm Razor Mango thank you so much for watching and I'll catch y'all later bye